Hey everybody, it's Mike again, and I am going to give Trey AI another chance. If you saw my last video with Trey, I mentioned that I failed, not Trey. You know, I didn't give it good prompting, I didn't give it good information, and the result was expected. I wanted to give them a second chance, but then of course, Sonic came out 3.7, so I started playing with that. But then I realized now Trey can use 3.7 Sonnet. Definitely want to give Trey another shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my prompt from the last video. Um, I will leave a link to this in the description so you guys can do all this stuff. I meant to highlight this part too because you want to make sure the colors. But this is a very simple prompt. Once again, it's not my prompt. It's from uh, Hamish. Hamish? God, I can't, I can't say your name and I'm so sorry. I'm really bad with names. We're going to create this project and I was looking for you know services in my area which i'm in colorado so once again i just used perplexity and i said you know give me a list of services people need in colorado springs and then of course i can't spell so i had it categorized <laughs> and so i was just looking through here trying to pick one and i decided to look at handyman services and then i found this awesome website it's a good site but i think uh we can make it better so let's see what we can do with this. So if we go to this, so we're gonna have to create a new project. We'll get into that, but I need to get my pictures. And when I was looking through their site, they don't have pretty much any pictures. They use a lot of stock photography, which is fine, but we have their contact information. We have all the important stuff. They didn't have much on the Google. I don't even think they have a business address, which is fine. But basically what we want to do. So something I noticed right off the bat is that I can't seem to switch to 3.7 Sonnet on my tray. So I think I'm going to have to download the newest version of tray. Let me do that and get back to you. So I did download it again. Maybe I screwed up. Maybe there was an update somewhere that I didn't realize. We go down here. You can see that I now have access to 3.7 Sonnet, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and get this project going. Okay, so so before we get officially started, once again, you know, go somewhere and get some images. I just went and got some really basic images here and make sure you name them something so the, the LLM can understand it. You know, so I just got some basic pictures off the internet. Um, and so we need to know, I think it was down here. Oh, there's there. There's that. So let's go back to the home page here. So here's the areas they cover. So we'll just copy that and go into our prompt and then come down here. Basically the same areas. Most people almost always have the same areas. Castle Rock Fountain, Manitou Springs, Monument. And now I'm going to go ahead and change this because technically security and Whitefield are two different places. Um, what is there? And like I said, I don't think they have an address. Now they don't seem to have an actual address, which for a you know, a lot of handyman type services, they usually don't have a home address. I mean, they, they have a Google map, which is nice, but there's no address on here. Um, I even looked on regular Google and there's no address. So that's probably, they work out of their, they probably work out of their home, which is cool. They don't really have a, a slogan, do they? I'll just take this. And then we need services, which I think they had a thing for that, right? So it looks like they have more services on here. Interesting. Okay, so if we look at their website, I'm getting a yellow and blue feel just by the way their logo is. So we're going to say their colors are yellow and blue. So the main colors are... Now, if you're not using a, a website to do this, you can you can delete this highlighted part and just let it pick colors for you. Uh, we need to give this a project name. So we'll call it Colorado. I mean, I love this company's name. <laughs> Wham, bam. <laughs> I love that. So like here, I'm going to create my app and I'm going to call it Colorado Wham Bam. <laughs> and I think I got everything else. I got a few more things. So I think we're good there. So let's go ahead and start this project. And I want to kind of show you from scratch how to do this. Uh, we are on the Sonnet 3.7. So go ahead and open up a new terminal. I am just going to copy this. Come back to the terminal. We'll paste. And then we'll just go ahead and do all this. Go ahead and create it. It does not take very long to do this. Okay, so that's funny that it took that long. It usually doesn't take that long. So the next thing we're going to do is open a folder, trust and continue. Yes. And so now we have our file structure here. And then again, if you're following my directions here, now we're going to create a folder called public and then public images. So in here, 
just in your main folder here. We'll go new folder and we'll call this public. And then we'll click on this again and do another folder called images. And then I'm going to take all of my, my fun images here. We'll just select all of them and drag it into the image folder. So there's all my images. And then we upload all the images. And now I need the prompt. So I am just going to highlight everything copy that and now i don't know because like in Klein, it has the plan and the act this kind of has chat and builder so do i just go with the builder and see what happens let's see what chat has to say <laughs> i'm scared so i'll give it that let's see what what it has to say so i told it that it was already in a project this is cool so i think what i might do you know let's go ahead and apply that we'll accept that uh let's go ahead and do the layout uh let's update the global css i mean let's create some reusable why not and then let's do a footer gotta love footers so we got a footer and a header for fun I'm going to go to Builder now and paste the same prompt. Now, see, I don't know if it's going to see the files because last time I did this, this is where I messed up is it didn't see the the files. We are in 3.7. Okay, so it's, it's looking at the files. Thank God. <laughs> this is where I had a big issue last time was it couldn't read files or something. So I seem to find this problem a lot with these AI builders is they try to... Oh, I lost where it went. But if a file's too big, it tries to truncate it. I think that's the proper word. It almost always fails. I don't know what it's trying to do here. We'll accept it. It says try again later. Seems to be very slow today. If I have to say one thing that I probably don't like about Trey so far is that you kind of have to babysit it. When I'm using Klein, you know, you can set up how much authority you want to give it. And I think I mentioned with this in the last video, you either have to give it all the permission or none, you know, which kind of sucks. So we're held up again. I don't know why. Uh, I'll just let it run. We'll see where this goes. Now, one thing I will bring up that I noticed when using Klein with Sonnet 3.7 is that I didn't get errors like this. It would usually fix the errors immediately if, if something came up red. So anytime you see these little squiggly reds or there's actual red in here, there's errors somewhere. When I was using Klein, it fixed it immediately. This seems to be ignoring the errors again and just going on to something else. So I don't know if that's Trey's model that does this, but like I said, when I was using Klein, it would just go be like, oh God, I made a mistake. Let me go fix it. I'm kind of worried. And plus I have two page TSXs right now. Now, granted, one of them is for services. One of them, well, I'm just going to let it run. I'm going to let it run. Not going to complain. I'll be back. So I'm still sitting here. It's, it's updated a lot of pages. It's done a lot of things. I guess one thing that I would like, if anybody from Trey happens to watch this video, on other models, you can actually see what it's updating in real time. This one doesn't seem to do that. It just kind of does everything in the background, which is fine. But once again, there's a heck of a lot of red on here. There's a lot of errors and they're simple ones. They just need to cancel out the apostrophes and stuff. But now it just wants to go ahead and run. So let's see what happens. Yep, look at all those errors. Let's see if it knows how to fix that. So now it's finally realizing that it has errors. We got a page. Let's see what it looks like. Looks like we got a bunch of errors. And see, I knew there was going to be errors because there's a bunch of red up here. And like I said, when I was on other things, it fixed it before. All right, let's see attempt number three. And hey, 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 we have a page. Okay, so I think it pretty much says, I don't want to work with you anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So yeah, let's go to localhost 3000 here. So here's the page that it built. Once again, this is the page that... I kind of copied. So here's the page that we built. It seems to have issues with this. I noticed when I was doing this on Klein, it has issues with text not being the right color. Once again, those are simple fixes. Um, there's no, <laughs> this needs to be fixed. I mean, there's no definition of where the, the footer and whatever this is supposed to be. I mean, we have services. So once again, when I did Klein, it fixed all the, it did all of this when I did the Klein sonnet. I didn't have to worry about any of this. So the about page works, uh, contact page. I mean, the colors are all off. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. I mean, I don't even know if I want to waste my time trying to fix all this stuff. I mean, I don't even know where the service pages are. I saw, I thought there was a page that said services. We only have one carpentry and I don't even think that works. 
Oh, it does. Can I give this images? Oh, I can. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do a simple snippet here. Sorry, I turned off my, my video while I was doing that. So I took a picture of, so I'm going to give it a picture of the footer. I'm trying to do these so quickly that sometimes I just forget to, uh, so we're still running in the server. So let's see if it actually updates in real time. Hey, once again, what bothers me the most though, is all of these errors. I mean, none of this should be red. Okay. So once again, I don't want to blame Trey for this, but I told it about the footer problem, right? Well, so if we go to our homepage here, it didn't fix it. But when I was looking back to see what it actually did, it just changed this one. It didn't change all of them. And once again, it hasn't created all the other pages. I mean, when I use this with Klein, it made the whole entire website without me saying a word. You know, and then I went back and changed things. You know, so far, Trey has not made a complete website. I don't know if I should continue, but... I'll try a few more things at this and then I'm just going to call it done. So I am painfully sitting here, watch it create each page and it's taking forever. Now, once again, their service is free. Claude 3.7 is a little overused right now. Everybody's using it. So, I mean, I get that. I'm not complaining. Once again, I've already had to give this more. I had to kind of push it along more than I did with Klein. So that kind of worries me and as you can see almost all of my my files and folders here there's just red everywhere there's errors everywhere it hasn't mentioned anything about that kind of at a loss here and plus it's changing colors now it's i mean now we're getting ugly <laughs> i mean that looks good but uh, and i mean why would you use the bathroom picture <laughs> for electrical i mean it is finally creating more pages but the color scheme i mean this is like this is like 1990s freaking Okay, we're still missing that page. We still don't have the footer fixed. I told it. I don't know, my friends. I don't know. Oh, let's fix that. I'll let it keep going. Um, I'll show you the final result when we're done. So after sitting here for way too long and watching it fail on me again, um, as you can see, almost everything's red. It hasn't tried to fix anything. It's completely made these ugly color patterns which you know once again it's fine it's a basic structure i can work with this if i needed to the long and the short of it they are free this didn't cost me anything other than my time which has been over an hour and a half now hour and 26 minutes i mean it gave me something i'm using claude 3.7 for free it's building a website for free and it's probably a good start um i think it still needs a little love and once again, it could be me. I don't know. Considering the product I got when I was using Klein compared to this, I don't know. I can't, I don't want to bash too hard. I mean, they're still new and, you know, they're still building and they're still learning. And, but once again, it is free. That's a good thing. It's free. Try it out. Play with it. See if you like it. Um, other than that, I'm going to leave it at that. You guys have a good one. I'll see you again.